Y'all got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. Before we even start, <clears throat> I need y'all to subscribe and go watch Yo DJ Star's video, obviously, her actual video, and then come watch my reaction, okay? Um, she just starting YouTube, I, I believe, so um, everybody got to get, you know, acclimated to her being on YouTube, but if I'm not mistaken, she got like 10K in a day, so shout out to her. Um, I want to continue to react into the story times, um, but I'm definitely going to react to them after she posts them and y'all go watch it. That's all. Just watch it, please. Okay. It be getting a lot of views over here. I understand, but she is on YouTube now. Please watch her video and not saying that y'all won't. I'm just saying y'all may not know she's on YouTube. Damn it. I'm telling you she's on YouTube. Go watch her video. Link on me in the pinned comment. Story time. We back. We back. We back like we never left. We <laughs> okay, let's get started. Yeah. What happened to Vanessa? I thought you left her in Vegas. I thought you cut her off. I thought you went on about your business. How did you and Vanessa continuously keep talking? How did you let her back in your life? What happened to Vanessa's husband, Victor? And so forth and so on, y'all. I got so many questions. This was probably the most highly requested update besides one of the updates about my Missing in Miami story. But anyway, as y'all may know, y'all ask and y'all shall receive. We're going to talk about what happened to Vanessa. Is she still around? Before I jump right into giving y'all all the juicy details, let me say one thing. So this is my first YouTube video on the channel. Thanks to you guys giving me the 10K. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. So please, allow me time to get my setup right. Allow me time to get the angles. I feel a little wonky because I'm kind of filming a little different. Just allow me time. I want to be able to grow with y'all. I want to be able to grow together. Let me get this. Okay. I feel like we all starting together, and I love that. I love the fact that we are a team. Team Twinkles, we in a building, baby! Y'all have just got me so excited. I have so many ideas, content ideas for the channel. I love that you guys are giving me ideas, things to do. You're dropping your comments, your suggestions. Speaking of, you guys, somebody commented on my video, and I'm going to try to paste the um, comment because I want to give you all the credit. Thank you. They said that instead of calling it story time, <laughs> I should call it starry times. Get it? One of the best suggestions I've heard in a long time, I actually love the idea. Instead of calling it story times, call it starry times because it's given by DJ Star. Like, wow! I'm really hoping that you guys can feel my energy through the phone because i am super duper excited y'all go get some snacks go get something to drink sit down get so relaxed give me your undivided attention because this will be your one of your favorite channels if not your very favorite quote me on that remember i said that this will be one of your favorite youtube channels one more thing before we get started, I will be implementing during story times this thing I want to call commercial breaks, where I will be reviewing you guys' merch that you send. I know guys, people want to send books. Send me anything. I know you guys probably have already seen me do the hat review. Mm, if you're following me on TikTok, if you follow me on Instagram, if not, make sure you follow me on all platforms because you never know what I'm going to post on which one you don't want to miss out. So while we're on this commercial break, just want to say this brand is, this hat is brought to you by a brand named Critic. Shop, it's called Critic underscore. Shout out to Critic, y'all. Yeah. I know my eyes probably look a little wonky, y'all, but just try to connect with And I think it's time to get to the story. So, yes, initially when we left Vegas, I left Vegas with my friends, and I told Vanessa, like, look, it's been fun. I thank you for all the money that you've given me. You and Victor have been very, you know, hosp hospitable. You guys' hospitality has been 1,000, and I love it, but I, it ends here. It just kind of gave me a red flag. The fact that you're married, you have a husband, but you're in Vegas chasing me all the way down to the airport. And you're in the airport begging That's me not crazy. to be on the plane. It's like your husband is standing right there looking like a sad puppy. I just really wasn't feeling that, y'all. And like always, I feel like when something is too good to be true, it usually is. So, boom. Made it back That's home from Vegas. Everything's good. I'm unpacking everything. And I keep getting messages from Vanessa. She's blowing my phone up saying, hey, please talk to me. There has to be something that we can work out. Let's make a deal. This, it was kind of like bribery, honestly. I told her one last time, like, look, I said what I had to say. I'm not interested. Thank you, but no thanks. You could tell Vanessa one of those type of girls or women that always get what she wants because it's like when she hears the word no, she loses her mind completely. So boom, life went back to its norm for me. I went back to work. Me and my friends are still cool. Everything is going good until one day I was getting off work and I got a text message from Vanessa again. This time, she didn't say anything in a text message. She actually sent me her location. And her location just so happened to be 15 minutes from my house. 
Mind y'all, Vanessa is no longer in Vegas. She is 15 minutes from my house, from the location that she sent. She's at a what? hotel. She's 15 minutes from my house. And I'm not gonna lie, at first it took me a while because I'm like, wait, what? How'd she get there? I mean, like, duh, but how she know? Girl. Y'all know me. I dropped a screenshot in the group chat because one thing about me and my friends, we're going to have a, a table meeting about you. We're going to be like, oh, okay, like, what's oh, this, what that? We're going to all put our inputs on what, what's going on. Like, we're just trying to figure out what's going on. Vanessa then proceeds to call me. I don't pick up. She then sends me a text and says, hey, if you come see me, even if it's for five minutes, I'll give you $500. Now, I'm not going to lie, y'all. I had just paid rent and everything. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, you know what? Just to come see you and talk to you for five minutes. $500 for five minutes. Now, honestly, what would you do? And mind you, from my previous experience with Vanessa, she never wanted anything. She never wanted to do anything. She just literally wanted to... I ain't gonna lie. I wouldn't have went and seen her. <laughs> but, you know, you just never know until you're in that situation because Shawty seemed crazy. Sit there and listen to me talk. So in my mind, I'm telling my friends, and of course my friend's like, yeah, go, go, go. Like, we'll go with you. We'll sit outside the hotel. We'll even come up. Like, whatever. We got you. Just go ahead and do it. $500 for five minutes. It's a no-brainer. So I finally text Vanessa back and I said, you know what? I'm on my way, but I am bringing some friends just, you know, just in case. She's like, okay, I don't care. Bring whoever. I just want to see you. I just want to talk to you. I get there to the hotel, y'all. It's a very nice hotel. It screens Vanessa, you know what I'm saying? One thing about Vanessa, I feel like the way she carries herself, her demeanor, everything is A1. She's a very classy girl. I get there, I tell her two of my friends will be coming up with me just, you know, just in case. I, I feel like it's kind of weird that not only are you in my city, but you're 15 minutes away from my house. So I don't know about all that. Just for a pointer, maybe some of y'all didn't come from TikTok, so maybe some of y'all don't know the whole thing about Vanessa. But remember when we first met Victor, he's asking like, okay, where are you guys from? So, you know, we didn't, we didn't tell him too much. Much. like we didn't give exact address but you know we tell him city and state cute so that's um, how she even actually kind of knows the area okay we get upstairs vanessa's sitting there she's offering us drinks or whatever but we're like no we're fine you know i'm just coming here to talk okay whatever my friend then goes wait where's victor you didn't bring victor with you remember y'all victor is her husband and victor's not there remember victor's actually a cool guy he's a guy that wants to do any and everything to make his his woman happy so okay where's victor she then says well me and victor are thinking about separating and that's why i'm here Mm. Wait, if you and Victor are thinking about separating, shouldn't you be going to see like a divorce lawyer or maybe you guys should go to couples counseling? Why are you all the way down here? You should be getting the hell away from me. I ain't got it. <laughs> I ain't got it. You and Victor are supposed to be separating. I'm not understanding. I'm not catching the drift, Vanessa. Vanessa, like, see, that's the thing. When I mentioned to Victor about how crazy I was about you, I would not stop. And Victor told me that if I didn't stop pursuing you, if I didn't leave you alone, that he would leave me. And as you can see, Vanessa's here in my city right here in the hotel room 15 minutes away from my house and i immediately tell vanessa like look no disrespect but victor is your husband you guys have a family together you guys have kids together you guys have been together for a very long time leaving him for someone like me at this very moment in my life excuse me but it is very it just doesn't make any sense you, you no. sound foolish yeah. she's like oh but i've never felt like this before you give me butterflies and i understand that you know y'all know when y'all start talking to somebody new it's always cookies and candy it's always but everything is always perfect but you still have to realize it's just the beginning it's the puppy dog stage it's the honeymoon stage whatever you want to call it it's never and you just attracted to a person physical for real all right but it really seems all the time anyway. I'm like, Vanessa, we were in Vegas. We kicked it. We talked. We didn't do anything. You don't really even know anything about me. How are you even thinking about leaving your husband of many, many years, the father of your children, for someone like me? Mind y'all, like I say, I'm young and turn. I'm outside. I'm not thinking about selling down. I'm not thinking about commitment. I'm not thinking about getting married, having kids. None of that. Why are you willing to walk away from all of that for little old me? She's like, you know, I really didn't understand either at first, but the heart wants what the heart wants. I thought <laughs> about it. I've even prayed on it. I even went to talk to someone. The heart about wants what it wants, what wants, what wants. About it. And they told me to just chase after my heart. Don't let it go. This, this, and then I'm like, Vanessa, I, you stop, bro. Like, yes, when we were in Vegas, it was all fun and games, everything like that. But I didn't. I'm sure my friends didn't. I'm sure even Victor didn't think it would ever go that far. I know y'all do these type of things like a lot. Victor lets you step outside of your marriage, gives you hard passes, things of that sort. But it's like, bro. You kidding me right now? Vanessa then proceeds to tell me how she'll do anything for me. She does not care about what Victor or anyone else thinks. She knows she's older and I'm younger. She'll let me live my life until I'm ready for her. She'll wait on me. Let me is crazy. And I'm just like, bro, there is no way. 
Even my friends chime in, like, you know, they're saying, like, they noticed that Victor was a good man. You don't really find good men like that who will be faithful to you while you do your own thing. Like, even my friends are trying to talk to Vanessa, but honestly, Vanessa isn't trying to hear none of that. She literally sitting on the edge of the hotel bed, like, looking at me, rocking. She's, like, crying and everything. So I'm like, all right, like, how long are you even going to be here? Because honestly, I feel like you should talk to Victor. We want to talk to Victor because honestly, I cannot believe it at this point. I feel like I'm being pranked. Get Victor on the phone. Vanessa then says, well, I'm honestly going to be here until I can find an apartment just for starters. And then I'm going to um, go house shopping. I'm going to look for a house so I can go ahead and settle here. Wait, what? You Not moving here. Man, hell no. Hell you mean no. to tell me you're thinking about leaving Vegas, moving down here for me? And I kid y'all not, y'all, me and Vanessa didn't do anything, anything at all besides talk. I don't even think we hugged. Now that I think about it, we didn't even embrace each other. Me and this lady talked for a very short amount of time, and now she's in my city. She's 15 minutes away from my house telling me about how she's going to go apartment hunting and house shopping. I really had to do this to y'all, but tools in the comments. If you want part two of what happened with Vanessa, tools in the comments right now. Team Twiggles, let's go! Damn. She's even doing the shorts on damn, um... How dare her? <laughs> on YouTube. <sighs> that Vanessa is something weird. Okay? No, mm -mm. uh-uh. Uh-uh. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. Her link is in the pinned comment. Y'all go ahead and tap in. Uh, love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hey.